<laughs> Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, part of your average family. I've got a dad, a mom, and a sister. There is Donnie, we found him. And Darwin, he found us. Oh yeah, our about our house, it moves, because we travel all over the world. You see, my dad hosts this nature show and my mom shoots it. Okay, so we're not that average. And between you and me, something amazing happened. And now I can talk to animals. It's really cool, but totally secret. And you know what? Life has never been the same. Today's guests probably have no idea where that quote is from. Please welcome Rhett and Link. Yeah. I'm doing I'm clapping now as well. Don't tell me I've what that is, that. but... I think it's it's a show, obviously. It's a show. Yeah. And the, my hat's falling. It's Dora the Explorer. Close, kind. You can speak. What did, what did you say? You can speak. She can talk to animals, and her her dad. They're just in the wild, and that the, she talks to animals. This show was on slightly after it was okay for me to watch it. Like my younger sister watched it a lot. Um. You're never gonna get it. It's the Wild Thornberries, Nickelodeon show, the 1998 Wild to 2004. An animated series. An animated series, and oh, every okay. intro started with that, and I probably botched it, and I'm probably gonna hear about it in the comments, but I tried. All you Wild Thornberries fans. If you wanna send me any more intros that are difficult to say, do it, and then we can talk about it. They don't afterwards. necessarily have to be that long, though. No, yeah, yeah, that's that was, true. That was, it was a little longer than I was comfortable with, but I was just standing over there. Are you excited to hear what we're impatient. doing today yeah, on this Saturday? Yeah. Um, so glad I got up for this. I have slightly compromising footage of Link in his car. Oh, good. We're going to celebrate your birthday, a little belated, a couple days belated, but I didn't get to celebrate it with you on the day. That's okay. Past the I'm wings, all right. So here we I'm go. I'm doing fine. Um, and finally, I'm going to blindfold you and do things to you that you don't know about. Love it. Okay, <laughs> great. But first, we have to drink our beverage of the day. This beverage only comes in two bottles, so I have two bottles and a glass. Any preferences? <laughs> uh, why don't Why don't Here, I? Here, you guys can have a bottle and a glass. Yeah, just determine. give just give us a bottle and a glass. And uh, today's so drink is, is called Malk. This is Malk. Malk. Does that remind you of a YouTuber? Yeah. This reminds Julian me. Julian Smith. Yes. Did yes. they ask his permission? I don't believe so. I don't believe Julian has moved to the cold pressed Malk coffee business. I don't know. Yet. He could be getting royalties. You don't know. He's sneaky. That's true. It's okay, so it is cold brew coffee and. It's pecan milk. I would call it pecan milk. Pecan, pecan milk. Pecan, yes. Could you pour me a little? Can you shake it and Do give we me a little? Can you shake this? Does it say shake? Does it say? Uh, if you haven't shake seen, well. If you haven't seen Malk, uh, Jul Julian Smith's sketch from. Uh, years ago, uh, I'm sure it still holds up. Watch it. Enjoy yeah, I it. watched it recently. It's great. This is a plug for Julian Smith's Malk video. <laughs> Let's taste it. Let's do it. I'm just waiting to get poured. Yeah. Enjoy within seven to ten days of opening. Can Made in Texas. I haven't had pecan milk. Oh, that's plenty. You know, I just. <laughs> you know what cold brew does. What do you mean? You know, you know what cold brew does for me. It's mostly pecan milk. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, is good. that all you want? Dink mm -hmm. it. You wanted half from you and half from me. Oh. Yeah, good sound. Sink it. Oh yeah, I like that. It tastes good, but I don't know. I kind of I find the concept of pecan milk a little pretentious. I like it what? a lot, man. I like. It's like it. somebody's oh, no. just out there trying to find the next nut to squeeze. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would drink this for money. I mean, I, just because I find pecan milk pretentious doesn't mean I wouldn't drink it for money. Um. Okay, well, speaking of other things you'll do for money, when this comes out, you will probably be in North Carolina because last night you were at the NC State Fair. And wow. Oh, what a and, night it was. Yeah. Man. Last but, night last night we tried out our uh, doing a, 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 a full-length yep. musical, musical concert. concert. It, yeah. it went great. I feel it I hope it we did. survived. And then we got on the red eye and came right here to be on this show with you. Oh, well, we kind of were pretending that that wasn't the truth, and then you at the end pretended that that was. Mm. So I'm lost. Played it both but, ways. But yeah. what I wanted to All say options. is that the majority of the audience was not at that show that happened last night in the time that you're watching this. Yeah, um, yeah. On Ear Biscuits last week or the week before, you had mentioned, Link, that you were rehearsing on your own in the car on the way to work and that you might look a little um, odd while doing so. Yeah. And I thought, we need to see this. 
So we sent you with Ben, who now hates me, <laughs> in the car. After last week. Yep. Uh, um, you made to, up. You made up. It's cool. To, it's cool, but right. you're just not going to back over things and <laughs> run away anymore. <laughs> to see we what also it was promised like we weren't going to talk about it in yeah, yeah, exactly. a week later. The car right. with you. Here we go. Welcome to my car. I've been asked to take you guys on a ride along to show what it's like on my commute into work as I practice the songs that I'm gonna be performing at our concert. First thing I do is I crank up my car and then I put my seatbelt on. I gotta take these glasses off. I gotta put them in a protective case and then I gotta put these glasses on. These, more, these are more suitable for sunny environments. I go to my practice playlist. Rhett gives me a hard time about how long it takes me to get ready to drive. I mean, it literally takes me sometimes 10 minutes to leave my driveway. And I'm pressing play. You're a mama's boy. I was born in an Arctic cave and adopted by wolves. That's how I was raised. See, we're on the interstate, man. Everybody's doing their thing. Everybody's trying to get somewhere. Me, I'm just trying to be a 40-year-old rapper. <laughs> when my car breaks down, I don't call a mechanic. I just open the hood and then I stare at it. And then I call a mechanic. Now I, I gotta merge right here. Oh, you're blocking my mirror. I almost hit that car. We need it. We want it. Vacation. We own it. Sir, Beach. Paul, Tree. got no worries. That was Rhett's part. I shouldn't have taken that. Hold up. Fill the hole up with molten gold. Molten gold nugget for my charm bracelet. Potting soil. I think he misunderstood my hand signal as an insult. We can cruise around in a big SUV. This car doesn't want to pull up beside us because they see me singing. In the dark that I cannot see because it's so dang dark, so dang dark, so dang dark, so dang dark. I'm not going to be driving on stage. That's the thing. I don't have to, I don't have to navigate anywhere. I mean, I will get lost, but then I'll realize, oh, where am I? I'm on a stage. I just haven't met a woman of a high enough caliber. Cal <laughs> this is my me time though. Just me driving into work. Ever since Rhett wrote me a letter and said he didn't want to carpool anymore. That's fine. I have my podcast. Welcome to Ear Biscuits. I'm, I'm Link. Link. And I'm Rhett. This week Wait, at the round, round table at Dim Lighting, we are exploring the question, is texting, texting ruining, ruining friendships? friendships. Yeah. Specific. <laughs> you see how hard it is to uh, to lip sync yourself to uh, your own podcast? Comedy duo Rhett and Link will be live at the NC State Fair, October 12th, 7.30 p.m. Dorton Arena. See, that's, that's what I'm practicing for. Yes, I am a nerd, but worm, I'm studious. From my cerebral cortex to my gluteus. I'm just practicing for a concert. You need 16 gigs of RAM to watch the Steve Jobs doc and keep an actual RAM in my PC. His name is Spock. See, sometimes you're practicing and you just find yourself yell rapping at an elderly couple at a stoplight. I'm not nervous about messing any of these songs up. I'm gonna be great at all of them. I'm gonna nail it. You are the classic example of the impersonal friend. I don't remember that part. Who wrote this crap? Well, I hope you enjoyed your ride along with me, Link, as I practiced the songs uh, that composed my concert at the North Carolina State Fair, along with my friend, Rhett. We're gonna make total fools of ourselves in front of family, friends, and other uh, fair goers um, by rapping. <clears throat> It's gonna smell like cow manure there. See what you miss when you don't ride into work yeah. with me anymore? I've never felt better about my decision to drive myself to work. Yeah. There were a couple times where you were literally looking down in your lap as the car was going on the highway. And then there was that part where you were like this, which I was just confused as to what I, was happening. It's with a the self driving car. car. It, it's a sign. Oh. I'm, I'm, con <laughs> I'm concerned. I'm concerned about you trying to do those two things on the road. Driving and anything else, <laughs> having just seen it a little bit. Now, to clarify, we're not carpooling because we have different. We're going to different gyms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm is, so so we, glad you clarified that. We, one. <laughs> we decided to go to different gyms. So you pity had to, me not. You wrote I, I, the letter about that then. Yeah, I was like, Link, I hate to tell you, I'm going to stop going to your gym. I got hurt <laughs> at his gym. 
I went to his right. gym. My gym is in like a upper echelon type scenario. I told him, I was like, I need, <laughs> I, I need to get my back in shape. And then I hurt my back and I was like, screw this. I yeah. went to the place that helps my back. I'll do it. And so now one of the, one of the benefits is we don't have to go. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's a bit dangerous. I mean, uh, but also, hey, I got I, I had to be good with the concert. When a young woman is walking across a crosswalk and you go, nice, or whatever you said. <laughs> I didn't say nice. I was you rapping. You said something that was Singing. akin to. I'm not like, afraid of the what dark. What she was seeing was this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy <laughs> thinks I look nice. <laughs> not this guy is rapping to his own song <laughs> and he's pleased with himself. Yeah, yeah. You might want to go back and explain that to her. <laughs> um, See if you can track her down. Okay, for your birthday, I want to do something that I've never done before. So it's really just mostly for me, but I thought that you okay. would appreciate it. Mm. On the expensive food episode, there was caviar on everything, but you guys didn't touch it because you said that you didn't like caviar. But right. the caviar was the most expensive part of everything. So I felt like we should all collectively experience, well, I don't know if you've experienced, I haven't, the Russian like caviar and vodka situation. Like, have you ever had that? No, oh. that's how it, it, that's how it should yes. come together? So, so they do caviar and straight vodka and then uh, bread with butter on it. So I invited Josh to oh, come no. join us because I really wanted to experience it. And it's a celebration. Well, then why does Morgan have our spit buckets on hand? I'm not going to spit Thank it you, out. Thank you, Morgan. I think it's going to be an experience uh, that we're all going to remember. Hey, Josh. Josh, you like this, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of caviar. And we have, what, what do you like of... about it? Because I, I'm, not, I'm not a picky eater, you know that. Gosh. Mm. Yeah, right. but it's just very concentrated flavors of the sea, and when you try different caviars, they kind of express different notes, they have different textures. It's one of those things like wine, where you kind of really dive into the culture behind it, and that's what makes it special. Mm. Okay, cool. So, okay. well, uh, I mean, how do you do it? Dish Let's it out, it. man. Yeah, so typically you carry the spoon in your back pocket. <laughs> okay. And it's Keep it, step one. Keep it warm. Like all exactly. Russians. All Russians have a spoon on them at all times. I'm actually excited about this. Do you like caviar? I like things that are super pungent. So you're kind of like, yeah. when you take a bite, you're telling yourself to yourself, but in a good oh, way, wow. you know? And okay. the vodka I also dislike. So it's a double you culinarily. You I might, was gonna say You that might too. need to see someone about that, Stevie. Might be, it does kind of sound like a sex thing, doesn't it? <laughs> well, again, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant a professional of some kind. No, but you know like when blue I'm cheese. I'm so nauseous just thinking about this. When no, something has that like. No, I relate like, to that. Oh, you're like, that I, tastes bad I, but good. I like a lot of things that are bad but good. Yeah. Go, go easy. Uh, but I just, I don't know. So this is not, do they usually, ch is it chilled? It is chilled. Yeah, so the vodka is typically served okay. like absolutely ice cold, especially with the caviar. Caviar is always kept on ice. And so you just take a shot of the vodka and then. Oh, the shot of the vodka first. Why is the vodka first? No, we have caviar to take a then shot vodka. of it. I feel like we should just sip it. You can just sip it. Um, so, you so, said so caviar sorry. first. Oh, caviar first, then a little bit of vodka. Yeah. It's okay. more just like a swath of vodka and caviar. Do you Got know it. any like Russian celebratory uh, words? Nostrovia. What's that What's mean? That? I don't know. <laughs> no, you, you cheers. You say Nostrovia, right? Uh, Anyone? Russian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nostrovia. I don't know. David yeah, is David's, not he's from David Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> it's Russian adjacent. Yeah. It's Mexican. The guy from Indonesia was like, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's um, closer he than is, we've he, been. Is, he is closer. Yeah. A lot he closer. is closer to Russia. So, to Rhett on his 41st birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, go. man. Happy nostrovia, birthday. comrade Rhett. <laughs> Wait, the caviar that. first. Uh, You're not having. Yeah. I gotta say, much better with bread and butter. Mm -hmm. The butter helps a lot. Oh yeah. On top of just like a steaming hot omelet, it was not good. No. But. Huh. Hold on. I think I might. I might. I might understand caviar now. Right. Caviar. Having the butter or something like creme fraiche, giving it some fat that actually distributes the flavors of the caviar better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But still, those those black eggs are still <sighs> not my liking. <sighs> I feel like I could breathe fire right now. Wow, you had a lot of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little. <sighs> and 
It's really cold in Russia, so it's very cold whilst this. they I'm do trying these. Trying to make a Russian audience these. proud. I like it. I'm glad that we did this. This was a first. Well, Josh, I'm glad that you're into it. <laughs> And now we can I love say that, that we did this, it. she says. So, um, speaking for everyone, yeah, I'm going to love of, that we did this. Speaking of other things that I'm going to love and you're not, um, I have another Twitter scenario that I asked the Mythical Beast on Twitter. Uh, and so now I'm going to blindfold you. Okay, so the, the scenario that I presented to the Mythical Beast, Rhett and Link are sitting next to you. They're blindfolded. So here are your blindfolds. All right. What do you do? And I got some very interesting responses. So please, let me be you. As you can see, you can't. Nope. All right, we're gonna do a little uh, touching. Of course, yes, yes. So if you don't mind, I'm going to take this. You want the finger? <laughs> Thank you so much for giving me the finger. And I'm going to place it somewhere on Rhett's body and you're just gonna have to guess where I place it, Link. Weenus. Close. Pectoral. Yeah. Okay, you don't have to rub it. What's happening? Am I about to be touched again? <laughs> it was be completely silent and see which one of them speaks first. I bet it's Link. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm so tight, so stressed, need someone to rub my neck. Oh, Not me, man. Yeah, that's the spot. I like the way you work my muscle oh, now. Nice. Eat my arm. Ah. Uh. Shrug. Oh, okay. I think that was a little <laughs> more tongue than teeth, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just spit all over me. You just spit? Yeah. On what? <laughs> On my ear? Because it felt like a hand. Tickle party! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even actually tickle party! Oh my god. I, I get you. I got you. I really got you. your blindfolds off now. Boy, that was scary, fun, awesome adjectives. <laughs> yes, until I got really tickled <laughs> and slammed my well, I shoulder. I got plum tickled. I look, look at that. Hey. What? You're oh, a good tickler. That's, I, that, that's not for me, that's from my tickles. Yeah, that's I from tickled. my tickles. I, I you hit, you hit slammed yourself. myself hey, due to the tickles. When I get invited to a tickle party, <laughs> I show up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that weird. is uh, that's that all is we weird. have. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And now our final line. Three, until, oh, <laughs> until until next LTAT. Keep, keep on BYMB.